Oh, hi. Hi, didn't see you there. <laughs> little kids, little boys and girls, today I have a story. This is a story of my childhood. All my memories at Quick Check. Back in the day, after the young fellas, you know, we got, we, we smoked a lot of meth. We went to our neighborhood Quick Check. This Quick Check was notorious for all the psychos. One person they named, his name was Jason. We're talking a large man with a large ass. <laughs> he was very wide. I, some, I think what happened when he was he went through a lot of catechism events when he was younger. And that's what happened is like something he just, he, he loved quick check. And he would sit there in on his iPad. I mean, a couple of times I was coming out of the bathroom and, you know, he was in the corner and I saw him jerking it a little bit. He was watching a lot of Ashley Young porn. I don't know. I don't know if he lives there and, you know, he meets a lot of these strange people. Some, uh, some named, uh, there's one named Boomer. A fairly large man. I'm telling you, fucking over 500 pounds. And then his girlfriend, I, I don't know, she's, you know, she's a little hefty. But she's a psycho, too. They were fighting about money and, you know, getting knocked up at a hotel room on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and there's one other guy. I, I don't know his name. But, um, you know, he, he was, he was raging one day. I, like, he... He's got like this, like twitch thing going on, and I, like tattoos. He's like, ah, <laughs> and like, I don't know. There's something wrong with him. I think he was he was an alcoholic, and he's always in there too. Oh, and don't even go away. You gotta hear about his dad. His fucking dad. Jason's dad comes in every so often. They sit down. I, I don't even think they pay for anything really. And you know, us as kids just walk in there to get you know get some Snapple. Some good old Kool-Aid, maybe some Top Ramen. And this guy is fucking sitting down listening to Open Gangnam Style. Alone. Doesn't even have a girlfriend. Well, yeah, he does have a girlfriend, but didn't have a girlfriend. He just sits there. <laughs> looks like a fucking koala bear. Or a sloth or some... Oh, sloth. Like a sloth or some shit. He's like sitting there on his iPad. All he hears, ding, ding, ding. Like, who the hell is messaging you? He's like, oh, Alan. Fix the Wi-Fi, it's bad here. Yeah. Like, that Wi-Fi shit in that place is like, sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it works. And, you know what really pisses me off is, I, first of all, I don't even think he pays for anything, but he, he you know, he sits around and like, he, he puts the seats around the table like he's got company or something. <laughs> to be honest, I've never seen it. He knows everybody that walks in there, but he's got like six chairs lying around like, oh yeah, my friends are coming, you know? <laughs> but honestly, I walk in there, he's alone. I mean, I personally have talked to him about the Bergen football game once. You know, he, he lives in Emerson. And, you know, yeah, but he's just there every day. He, he, I mean, he, I'm telling you, he must put in like $1,000 a month in that place. Without him, they'd be going in the dumps, I'm telling you. Us, us and that guy fund that place. Can you um tell us about the guy, Alan? Oh, you want to hear Alan? Whew, what a character. Well, Alan, his full name is Alan Groove, 26 years old, lives in Primus, New Jersey. Um, to be honest, Alan, Alan, you know, he's a smoker. He's got, you know, burns in his skin and shit, you know, heavy smoker. But, um, he got kicked out of a band a couple years ago, and I think something really happened. He got, he got hit in the heart with that. So what happened was... I think he tries to find friends, like young friends that aren't going to break his heart. So one day he called me over because he saw my skateboard outside the, you know, so he's like, hey, you ride a skateboard? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, back in the day we were rebels, smoking weed and skateboarding and getting chased by the cops in high school. Didn't even show up to class because I rode my skateboard all day. I was like, yeah, you fucker. And so... He was telling me, he's like, he's like, yeah, you like, you like metal? You look like you like metal. I'm like, of course, I mean, I like metal music. He's like, well, you should go on Facebook. You got Facebook because every kid's got a Facebook. Well, I see all types of kids on Facebook. I'm like, oh, okay, you see all types of kids on Facebook. That's so weird. Go and like my band. I think the whole conversation was about me liking his band. And, okay, so after I like his band, I send him a friend request on Facebook. He adds me. I'm in there one day, just eating my top ramen, waiting for some good old fellows to come. 
my friends. And he comes, he's like, oh, Virginia, I'm on my break. I think I'm going out for a smoke. So he goes out for a smoke. Before, so he's got a cigarette in his mouth already. So he's like, we're now, like, got a cigarette in his mouth. Takes a cigarette, he's like, hey, you liked my band. And I'm like, huh? Oh, yeah, I liked your band. Comes over. <laughs> oh, you guys fucking ruined it.